Tim put a notice on Craigslist that he was willing to till for people. And we're still in Carmel, but it's at a person's house we haven't met before. And she has a garden that she wants tilled. There's some bushes in here that he has to go around, so that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. that the things he has to go around are blueberry bushes. There's quite a few of them in there, so it's a little square out of this whole patch that she wants him to go around, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Still, it's not that bad. of an awkward space to work in. It reminds me of neighbor Bob's yard, but his is fenced in, making it even a little bit more difficult yet, but trying to get right up against the fence is hard. So you just got your garden tilled, what'd you think? I did, it's awesome, I cannot wait to plant. Just quick, it was good, you did exactly what I wanted and you had to go around my blueberry bushes and you did a great job, awesome. I recommend him to anybody. What do you grow in your garden? Um, this year I'm doing sweet potatoes, cauliflower, cucumbers, cabbage, parsnips, broccoli, I think that's it. So did you set some of this out from seed? You already have it ready? Um, I have a little bit of growing on my, my um, Sweet potatoes have sprouted, and most of the other stuff I'll buy starts from other people, except for my blueberries, but they're already out there. And you do compost. I saw you had I some compost. compost. I compost um, like regular compost, but I also have a Vitamix, so all of our scraps from, um, from dinner or whatever we're doing get ground up and mixed with water and poured on the garden all the time. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, I'm glad to get to see your garden, and I hope it works out well for you. Me too. Thanks. You were great. We moved down to another neighbor's house in the same neighborhood, about three or four down. And they have a little garden, not near as big as the last person's, but uh, so it won't take him too long. It's a little bit harder to maneuver, maybe. Looks like he's going around the trampoline to be able to... Uh, no, he's got to turn around down there. Our daughter, Catrille, would be uh, jealous of the trampoline. garden here it looks, it looks really good well really thank you Tim I, I did it all with the help of your John Deere <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna grow in your garden uh well we're gonna grow, grow some rutabagas and some tomatoes 
Rutabagas and tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. It keeps the wolverines out of out of the tomatoes. Oh, really? Yeah, there's not a wolverine within a thousand miles from here. It works really good, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoa. You are so... So the question is, so have you ever told the truth? You are a sales guy. No, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to screw up a good deal by being truthful. We're going to plant tomatoes and probably tomatoes. Just tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. There's anything else you can get at the store, and they, they uh, it's a whole lot. Joy said chives, too. Well, there's the chives. Yeah. We've got chives there. Got chives already growing. We've got garlic chives and regular chives, whatever garlic chives are. You ever plant a potato? Nope. You know, as a boy, we did. I find potatoes to be the most enjoyable thing I've ever. Really? Really? And why is that? They grow really fast, and so I mean, even day to day, you can see how much they've grown. So I look out the look out from the dinner table, and wow, look at those things growing! Every day they'll grow that much. And then when you get ready to dig them in late June, there's just something rewarding, especially if your soil's good like this. Oh, They're easy to dig. Yeah. You stick your fork under them. You know, I use a pitchfork. Yeah, and you, and you pull, and then they just roll out, and there's just something uh, something rewarding. There's about. like ten to 15 potatoes per, per hill, hill, you know? Per hill, yeah. Really? All right. And, yeah. And, and they're just they're just a joy to deal with. Huh. Um, because, I mean, you, you'll, you, you ought to watch our YouTube channel and you'll see and you'll, you'll actually have some on there. You can't help every time you go, oh, that's a big one. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids, the kids in the neighborhood love to come over and dig them for you. And they'll get down there and pull them out and clean them off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's a treasure. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to say thanks to everyone who watches our videos. We really appreciate it. We have a lot of fun putting them together, and uh, it's just it's been a good memory for Katrina and me. And so, if you like the videos, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. <laughs>